Hey, so this is David and I like nice watches and vodka. Always remember, keep your vodka in the freezer. So why have I got these creepy as fuck white gloves on? Uh, and I bought these with intent. Um, so the reason I've got these Michael Jackson gloves on is because this watch is the Rolex Sea Dweller 50th Anniversary Edition. And because it's a Rolex and because it's the sexy 904 stainless steel, not your average sort of 316 stainless steel, it does pick up, especially on these mirrored finishes here, these horrible sort of uh, smudge marks. So that's that's my excuse and that's what I'm sticking to. Um, so yeah, so I bought, this is what, a couple of weeks old now. Uh, I bought this from Watches of Switzerland in Canary Wharf. Uh, and it's the absolute piece de resistance, creme de la creme of my watch collection. Uh, and it's when my girlfriend sort of really started noticing it. It's, uh, you know, my little trophies, uh, if, if according to my girlfriend, uh, as what she calls them. So this was bought in celebration of a big birthday I've got coming up. It was in celebration of, you know, surviving a career in the military, surviving, you know, a near life-changing experience last year. Surviving divorce, surviving the transition to civilian life, you know, I won't, I won't bore you with all that. Uh, and also surviving the Rolex authorised dealership experience. Um, I, I had a good, mostly good experience um, with a couple of guys, Pagnell Jewellers in Mayfair. Very, very nice outfit. Um, and watches of Switzerland in uh, Canary Wharf who ultimately uh, got there first. And they, they're the people who called me up and said, hey, look, we've got a watch coming in tomorrow. Are you interested? And I was supposed to have one at the end of the year. Um, and of course, it's not really the sort of thing you can turn down. So after a panicked phone call to the bank, because I, I definitely don't have Rolex money lying around, um, I was able to secure this. And it is exquisite. Um, it's the allegedly the controversial um, uh, Rolex or more more specifically the controversial Sea Dweller because of this date bubble here which I love I actually love but a lot of the other Sea Dwellers don't have that that's very sort of Submariner-esque but you know if it annoys the fanboys I guess it's doing something well also got a very nice very nice bezel movement and it's very easy to do which I'm pleased about because I will actually be using this for diving. I certainly won't be going anywhere near the, the depths of 4,000 feet or 1,220 metres. You know, the maximum I'll be able to go down is uh, 40 metres uh, for recreational diving, but you know, I'm only qualified to 20. Um, so that, that well, you certainly won't be stressed out by going there. It's got the triple lock crown, hence the three dots there you can see over the crown. Uh, it's also got an ex a very easy... Uh, extendable uh, thing for the dive suit here. You can make all these little minor adjustments here. So when that when that goes over my wetsuit, uh, and ultimately it, it's it's an absolutely stunning, stunning timepiece. You know, hyper reflective. It's very you could, you're much more conscious you've got this watch on than than any other watch I I own mainly because everyone else knows what it is. Everyone else can tell what it is. You don't have to really be a watch enthusiast to recognise that face. You know, it's like Porsche 911. It's a can of Coke. It's something that's it's it's instantly recognisable regardless of anything. Uh, healing release valve there. Yeah, and again, I've got a 17.5 centimetre wrist. And that's how it looks on it looks on me. I've obviously made that, you know, blooper alert. I've actually made that a bit bigger because of the wetsuit edition, but that's how it sits. It's definitely not top heavy. Fits really very nicely on the wrist. You know, you can certainly feel you've got it on there, but it's not it's not heavy. It it doesn't sort of uh, it doesn't it's not distractingly heavy at all. It's just a very nice watch, which I've probably said more than once yeah so you can pick these up from the the uh, authorized dealership if you have to you know because you you have to play their game and uh, absolutely point blank refuse to play the, the flipper game and get these off the gray market um and i will enjoy this for years to come